Welcome back to another video guys. Today is going to be a live recording. Uh because why not, you know, try something new. Uh, I saw I thought Fortnite do this, and you know, a lot of people liked it, so I thought you guys might too as well. So I'm just gonna talk about stuff while I'm playing the game live. I was gonna play solos, but I couldn't find a match without cross-platform, and I never play solos without cross-platform. So we're going to be playing some tilted zone wars. Oh, but today what I want to talk about is just my thoughts on Winterfest and uh, how I'm feeling about it. Because I'm pretty sure it's ending either today, like, I'm, did it already end? If it didn't end right now, it's ending tomorrow. So, uh, it's very unfortunate, but I just want to talk about what I wanted to see. Okay, okay, let's just look at this lobby real quick, though. Okay, I'm black, okay, it might be a r original recon, I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. I don't think it's original, though. There's, like, no original recons, even if they have another OD item. Um, yeah, it's because look kind of doo-doo. Yeah, it's because they're duke duke. But what I wanted to see, I wanted to see like more minty stuff as well as golden candy cane stuff because uh, I don't know if you guys remember the snowbell style and the uh, codename elf style, but it was like like a golden candy cane looking style on the codename elf. Bro, okay. It was like a golden uh, candy cane in Code Name Elf, and I just thought that was really cool. I wish we saw more of that, because we only have, uh, we only have the back bling and, like, the skin. I wish, like, Mr. Dappermint or maybe, like, Kane got a style or something, because they don't really get much attention. And I think Kane is kind of underpriced. Dappermint, I, I feel like he's worth it, but Kane is kind of underpriced. I feel like he should have gotten something. And if not golden candy cane, at least, like, a minty, you know what I'm saying? I want some minty stuff. But, no, I feel like, I like the globe shaker style, I thought the globe shaker was cool. And I'm happy we did get a minty uh, glider, so, I I'm happy about that. I really, I really did wish uh, that we, uh, we got a skin on, not New Year's, uh, Christmas Eve. Because for the last three years, we've gotten one. And then this is the one year where we didn't get a skin on Christmas Eve, which was kind of sad. I was, like, actually really disappointed. But, you know, it is what it is. We didn't get any... There's a lot of stuff we didn't get this year. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys. But even though we didn't get a lot of stuff, even like a... Uh, even like a copyrighted tick... Not TikTok emote. A copyrighted Christmas emote. Because they had a lot of TikTok emotes, but they didn't make a copyrighted Christmas one. I feel like they still do a lot of stuff good this year. So I want to talk about the stuff they did good. One of the things I liked that they did a lot this year was they continued to give us the free challenges. And even though they didn't give us the, uh, they didn't give us what we had last year, where it was like the cabin, we, we still got free challenges and some free skins. So I'm happy about that. Although it did feel like a downgrade from last year. I'm sure most people agreed like that. It, it was still cool to get it again. Oh, my friend, my friend, the party chat said uh, he thought it was an upgrade from last year. But the reason I say it was a downgrade is because we didn't, we got like less stuff, and we didn't get, uh, we didn't get the winter, like the, the cabin. But, um, we, we still got challenges, which was nice. I'm gonna switch the lid so that way I don't run out of metal when I'm fighting. He, he said that he's, uh, saying it's better because of the skins, and I do agree that the skins this year were better than the skins last year. Both for the free challenges, being the uh, Snowmando and the, I think it's called Frost Squad. Just fall, if I get folded, okay, I didn't get folded. Yo, calm down, kid. Calm down, kid. It's a, it's a rep scallion. Well, I'll continue my thoughts after this fight. I'm not about to get folded. Alright, anyone? Let's go! I'm so good! Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the skins this year were much better for the free challenges and the uh, actual like paid skins because I don't think this year there was a single bad Christmas skin. Which was great to say, because every year there's been at least one bad Christmas skin. Or, like, really any holiday. I don't think there's ever been a holiday until now that every single skin they sold was good. So I'm really happy about that. I'm not, I'm not even going to fight that. I'm blue up because I only got attack. So that was that was very nuts of them there. I did think the pickaxes were pretty decent as well. They, uh, 
I really like their the X, which is just like the 500 uh, the 500 V up pickaxe. But I thought I thought it was still cool though. I was just like a giant X, and I wear it on the uh, what's it called? I wear it on the hold up. I'm not. Okay, that guy's dipping. No, he's not. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Okay, it would... I should have carried the chugs over the minis, but it is what it is. But yeah, the, the, the red pickaxe that comes with the... I think it's Holly Striker. I thought that was really nice. And uh, I do rock it quite a bit. It's probably the most... Like, the pickaxe I use most uh, this year. From the new set of stuff. And that's... That's pretty much all I have to say about the cosmetics this year. The cosmetics were really nice. And uh, I do appreciate that. I do wish we got more than we got. You know, we only got like, I think two edits, no, three edits all in total this year. Which I guess is pretty is a pretty decent amount, but I feel like we could have gotten better. This line? That's not mine. Oh, no, no, no. Not bad. Oh, calm down, kid. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Then have a pump. Anyways, cosmetics are nice. Now the actual game. Now the actual gameplay. Um, I'm really disappointed about. To be honest, I feel like this year was. It's not enough. I feel like this year was just not the best for really anything except for the cosmetics. But the the snow, we only got it for a quarter of the map. Which, you know, I expected at first, you know, I thought it was going to, like, spread, and then on Christmas Day it's going to become everywhere. But we only got it in a quarter of the map, and it didn't, uh, it didn't go even, like, on Christmas Day everywhere. And I, heard, I saw somewhere that said the reason they did that was because of the fact that they didn't want to interfere with the sand, because the sand just came out. But the problem is the sand was always disabled, so what was the point? It's not like the sand was ever re-enabled. So I just thought that was kind of disappointing there that they never brought out the snow. Oh, a nice little kill there. And the uh, the big the big chill was cool as a gun, as an exotic. But I wish they brought back snowball launchers because the snowball launchers were so much better than the big chill, and that's just a fact. Like I don't really think anyone liked the big chill. They only used it if it was like their first time or they just really wanted to use an exotic. Because it, it did literally nothing. It gave you snow feet, but realistically wait what? Lag? Lag me like? But realistically, what's that gonna do in a fight? It does nothing. Okay. I saw like some clips of people like uh, launching their opponents off like high places with it, but that was like one in a one hundred chance of happening. So it's just, it was just kind of a disappointment. I feel like it would have been a much better exotic if it did uh, damage. Okay, kid. Well, I just got. I'm trash. No, no, no. Okay, buddy. Just third parting like that. Okay, buddy. But yeah, it was kind of a disappointment there, and uh, I'm just not really that happy with it. It wasn't. It wasn't the worst. Though. It wasn't the worst. I'll give them that. I think we just set our expectations too high because of the 2019 one, which was just so amazingly good. And let's be real, this year was far better than the 2018 one. So I'll take dummy I'll take that because the 2018 one was just not that good compared to this one skins were not that good gameplay was not that good we didn't even get free skins but yeah it was just it just could have been better that's I guess that's I guess all I have to say about that really and uh, I'm just kind of curious to see what Fortnite is going to do next Next event is going to be the Valentine's event, but I'm wondering if they're going to do something big this year again, or if they're just going to keep it like, uh, like they're not really going to do much this year. I assume because for the last two years they've done, like, a bunch of big stuff for it, but I guess uh, we don't know, we don't know. Because I feel like the 2018 one was so much better than the 2019 one, with the, like, free battle pass and free cosmetics and stuff. I just thought it was cooler. But last year they had the, uh, like, the LTM and, like, the challenges and stuff. 
I do think we got like more rewards last year, but they weren't better. But I guess that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in another one. Peace.